the, the main issue basically is how it was designed. If it was designed with the person holding it, then there would have been no problem. Uh, most likely they designed it when nobody was holding it. Okay. And because you want to make hand to be part of the antenna. Okay. If, because uh, the whole iPhone actually is part of the antenna. It's not just the wire you put into it. Okay. You design the, the whole box and the glass and everything as part of the antenna. So, because uh, if you don't do that way, that antenna is not optimum or the best antenna. So you have to do it today to have the best reception. Uh, but I would have said that you add the hand of a person also the part of the antenna so that when it's holding, it has the best reception. Yeah. Well, if uh, I were to do it, first I test it under different conditions and see w when it fails and why it fails and uh, do a slight modification so that rather than failing it, actually uh, to receive more signal rather than receiving less signal because if if that antenna particular antenna is uh, failing it means it interacting with the body with the hand of a person and but the interaction is detrimental you can just use that one to advantage uh, so you don't need to make a big change in the design you just make it in a interaction of the hand with the antenna to actually improve to, to work together rather than against each other. Right now they are working against each other. I don't know you heard about the problem they had with the Hubble telescope, right? When the, 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 they designed the mirrors in the first place, uh, it was perfect. But the last machine they used to uh, grind the, that, it, it was brand new, they hadn't tested. So it wasn't. It had some flaws in it. So the, when the mirror came out, it wasn't perfect. When they send it up without testing, suddenly all the stars were fuzzy. Okay. So what they did, they uh, they built another um, lens, and the uh, space shuttle took there and put it in front of it. So took that fuzzy picture and made a perfect picture. So the same thing here. I mean, uh, so the hand is there. It's working against it. So you just design a way that just like uh, that additional lens there. So when you put it there, look, look at the lens. So it improves the reception of the iPhone. Now where the software can help is that to adapt it, you see, so that uh, it can look and see if the hand is causing the problem and then uh, make some internal change in the circuits so that it adapts. That can be done. So you have an adaptive circuit inside the antenna. So, uh, looks at the signal they're receiving with hand without hand and uh, on the different condition we make a modification on the circuit so that that uh, can correct yeah. I, i'm actually very surprised that the uh, iphone has that problem you see somebody didn't think about just like a, you know i mean it cost more than a billion dollar to build a, a hubble telescope but they didn't do final testing before they launched it i mean you can ask that question why Right? I mean, you spend so much money. Why didn't you test it before lunch?